Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to show you how to make a scatter plot using your TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator. In this example, I've basically made up some data points that we're going to enter into the calculator and see how this scatter plot is formed, okay? So let's go ahead and grab that graphing calculator and see how all of this works. So the first thing I need to do is get all of this data into the calculator. In order to do that, you want to go to your statistics menu. And so find your stat button and go ahead and press that. Now the first option that's usually highlighted says edit. So press enter so we can edit some of the data in there. All right, so basically I have all of these lists, uh, usually labeled L1, L2, all the way up to L10. And I basically want to start entering in my data. So zero, enter, 10, enter, 25, enter, and 50, enter. Now once you're done with one column, you can just arrow over to the next column and then enter that data. All right, perfect. So basically you know, the data is now stored inside the calculator. Now if we go to graph, usually it doesn't show up there right away. This is because we need to go into our plot options for statistics and set a few things. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Instead of pressing the Y equals button, press the second button and then the Y equals to bring up our stat options. We're going to go ahead and mess around with plot 1, so it's highlighted, press enter. And the first thing we want to do is turn it on, so make sure on is highlighted, press enter. The type, we will select the first one, which is our scatter plot. We want it to draw the data from list 1 and list 2, good. And we want the marks to be little boxes. Perfect. Now, another thing that we also want to set is our window. Usually, people have these set up between negative 10 and 10 uh, when they're looking at graphs of functions. But we want ours to be a little bit different, because my x values are somewhere between 0 and 50. So I'm actually going to set my window between negative 10 and 60. That's just so it's big enough that I can see all of my x data. Now I'm going to set my Y window to be between 0 and 5 so I can see all of that data. All right, now let's go take a look at the graph and see what it looks like. All right, it looks pretty good. You can see that there are those four data points that we entered into the calculator. So there's 0, 3.2, 10, 3.6, 25, 3.5, and 50, 3.9. All right. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com. 